In these examples, we'll be solving systems by graphing. Now, we would like to graph the following system and find the point of intersection. In our first system, we have y equals x plus 5 and y equals 1 half x plus 4. So when I see these systems, it's very important that they are in the slope intercept form or the y equals inter y equals mx plus b form. So let's go ahead and write each one of these equations out. And then I will we'll break up, see, find out where is our intercept and where is our slope. y equals 1 half x plus 4. So we know right away that because it's in the y equals mx plus b, b is going to be our intercept. So 5 is going to, this is our y intercept right here. And then our slope is the number in front of x. And we don't see a number, so it's our imaginary one. And that is represented by the letter of m. And this is going to be our slope. So the slope is the rise over run, and because it's a 1, 1 over 1 is still 1. And our intercept is going to be 5. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And I'm going to use red for this first um, line, and I'll use blue for my second line. So here we are. Our starting point is on the y-axis at 0, 5. And here it is right here at 5. And then our slope is going to be up 1 over 1. Plot the next point. Up 1 over 1. Plot the next point. Up 1 over 1. I can go ahead and pull out my line and see how it matches up right here. Let's get it all nice and straight. Very good. Now our second linear function, our second equation is we see that the b or the y-intercept is going to be 4. So we are going to look for 4 on the y-axis, and the 4 is right here. And then we will see our slope, our slope represented by the letter of m, our slope is already in a fraction form. And so that tells us that we are going to go up 1 and to the right 2. So here we start at our point, and we will say we'll go up 1 over 1, 2. Up 1 over 1, 2. And you're saying, maybe say to yourself, this is not necessarily going to intersect, but it is. So it's going to intersect right there. And it's if I went back one, I went down one in a negative and back two, it would still be a negative one over a negative two is a positive one half. So our point of intersection is right here. Now, what is that final solution? What is that point of intersection? So our solution is going to be an ordered pair, and that will go from the origin, we'll go our x on our x-axis, negative 2. And then we will go up 1, 2, 3. Up 3 on our y-axis. All right? And so our solution is negative 2, 3. Let's go ahead and try it once more. Here we go. Let's put our... Let's erase all of this and let's put all our lines back. We will be using these lines again. So I'm just going to put them right here off to the side. And here we go. So we have our next equation is going to be y equals negative x minus 2 and 2x minus y equals 2. So in this sense, let's write our equations out again. y equals negative x minus 2, and then 2x minus y equals 2. I'm going to color code them just so we know 
where it, what lines we will be using for each equation to represent each equation. And so we see right away that this negative two is already our y-intercept. And so we are going to start at a negative two. Right here at a negative two, our slope now, we see that our slope is that imaginary one because there was no coefficient that we could see. So it's really a negative one over one. So that means we are gonna go down one and over to the right one. So let's go down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. Let's go ahead and plot our red line. Let's turn it around and we'll pull it right back up. Here we go, great, and extend it. We want to extend it as far as we possibly can on the graph to make sure that we don't miss any points of intersection. Now the second equation is not in the y equals mx plus b form or the point slope, form, not the point slope formula, but the slope intercept formula. And so we're gonna need to isolate y. And so I'm gonna add y to both sides. And that is going to give me 2x equals y plus 2. Then we are going to subtract the 2 because we need to get the y by itself. So we're going to subtract 2 on both sides, giving me y equals 2x minus 2. So when we go from here, we see that that negative 2 is going to be our starting point. And so we are going to start at a negative 2. And then we are going to, in our slope, we see that it's negative 2 over 1. So we are going to rise 2 over 1. Rise 2 over 1 rise to over one. It kind of was pretty simple because our graph here, I should say, was the point of intersection was right there at our, there you go, right there at the intercept. So we could see that our point of intersection is right here in front of zero. So our solution Remember, our solution is always an ordered pair. Our solution is 0, negative 2. Started here at the origin. We don't move left or right. It's 0. And then we go down the y-axis to a negative 2. And that's our solution. So I hope you get a little bit more practice in reviewing solving systems by graphing. Make sure you hit the bell notifications and subscribe to our channel so you know the next time a video of ours come out. So, and don't forget to hit that like as well. Thank you guys and we will see you next time.